So way back in the earlier discussions, we were talking about different types of data that you can add to an Excel worksheet. You had text, you had numeric data, you had dates, you had functions and formulas. Now I want to revisit the idea of the numbers. We've got a bunch of numbers in here. These numbers represent one of a couple things. One, I've got a lot of dollar amounts in here, money that I'm spending on different bills for these different months. So those should be represented as currency values. They should have things like decimal places, thousandths commas, the dollar symbol, or whatever, whatever mark we use for the country we live in. I want them to look like currency. Now, the other numbers that I have here are percentages. And right now I'm getting decimal percentages. I want to turn that into an actual percentage. So let's do a little bit of formatting on some of the numbers that we have inside of this worksheet. First, let's do the currency values. So my first step, I want to format two different groups of numbers. I want to format these right here. This is from cell B5 down to E10, and I just left clicked and dragged to grab those values. And I want to grab my min max average values. So I'm going to hold down my control key, and I'll grab B12 down to E14. Remember the control key allows you to grab non-contiguous groups of cells, cells that aren't touching one another. Now with both of those groups of values selected, I now want to format them as currency values. So I'll go up to my home tab. About halfway through, you got a section called number. And we looked just really briefly at this number section earlier when we were talking about the dates. Well, here, I'm just going to flip on the currency style. Now, I want to point out that there are a few other currency styles here. I've got English United States, I've got English United Kingdom, and Euros, and Chinese Yen, and so on. I can get into more accounting styles or currency styles and pick from some other ones as well. For me, I'm going to grab English United States. And I've now applied a currency value or an accounting style to my numbers. Now remember, what does it mean when you get the pound symbols, the hashtags here? Remember that? We discussed that just really briefly earlier. Well, these are numbers, and it's just too narrow, so I'm going to expand the column width of that column, and there's my numbers. So now I'm going to click away just so we can see this. I've now got currency styles or accounting styles, decimal places, thousands, commas, in my case, the dollar symbol there. Now this is great because it's more accessible Users can look at this and right away they think, oh, dollar amounts, great. But for me personally, this becomes a little too crowded for me. There's just too much going on. It looks just like a big rectangle okay? and not enough white space in there. So what I like to do is inside of something like this right here, I like to leave the first row and the last row as currency style decimal places, thousands, comma, the mark, the dollar symbol. But everything in between, such as, what is this, B6 down to E9, I still want the decimal, I still want the thousands, comma, but let's get rid of the dollar symbol. It's just too much going on in there. I want to open up some white space and try to make this more presentable, more readable. Think about this. You ever been laying in bed late at night and you're reading a book? reading along, you read a line, and then you read the same line again, and you read the same line again. Your eyes are getting tired, you're starting to blur lines together. There's just not enough white space to separate the lines, so you keep reading the same thing because your eyes are tired. Same idea here. I want to open up some white space. So I'm going to remove the dollar symbol. So with the B6 to E9 cell selected, I'll go back to home, back to number, and I'm going to turn on the uh, comma style. I'll give that a click. This leaves the decimals, leaves the thousands comma if necessary, but removes the dollar symbol. And for me, I just think it looks so much better, so much more presentable, easier to read. People are going to get the point. If the first line and the last line are currency styles, they're going to figure out that, hey, everything inside there is currency as well. And once again, for me, it just looks more presentable. But I'll leave that up to you. That's a choice that I make. Whether or not you run with that, that's up to you. I definitely think it looks much better, though. Now, this is 
formatting our numbers as currency. So try this out. Jump in, open up your, your monthly quarterly report here and drop in your currency styles. Get those decimal places, those thousands comma and the appropriate currency style for yourself.